Happy New Moon in Taurus. I am the Underground Alchemist. Underground Alchemist. <laughs> yeah, that's me. Anyways, I wanted to talk to you today about Magic of Eye. It's one of my favorite companies, and every month they put out a blog on the moon and what they've found out about it, know about it, I'm not quite sure, but I absolutely love, love, love reading what they have to write, and it really helps me in my magical journey. You are here with me, the Underground Alchemist Apothecary, or Underground Magic, right? And it's where I wanted to start creating things that are magic-y and um, just help us reconnect with our spiritual connection to Mother Earth and ourselves and our souls and a little bit more than, you know, we were taught in school or maybe even by your parents. I sure wasn't taught any of this stuff. But let's get to today's video, shall we? So... I'm going to read to you what Magic of Eye has written on the Taurus New Moon. So, it is today, May 7th, at 8.22 p.m. Uh, Pacific Standard Time, and May 8th uh, at 5.22 a.m. Um, Central, Central Eastern Standard Time. That's what CET stands for, I think. Not really great with times. I know my time and I think the middle of the country. I don't know. <laughs> the time as of right now is 9.04 and we are currently in that new moon. It already reached its peak, obviously, at 8.22, but I wanted to read about it. So, uh, Magic of I writes, monthly theme is stability, self-worth, and money. And wouldn't you freaking know it? I am always working on that, or at least it seems like it. I'm working on it right now. Um, I was recently in a car accident, so I'm sitting here in my bed. I can't really move my arm a whole lot. And um, I was feeling a little down about it, you know? I'm feeling a little shaky ground. So the stability, the self-worth, and then knowing that I have money coming to me because I... I'm doing the things that I need to do that bring me joy and happiness, which, of course, brings abundance, I think all line up with this theme for this month. So I think I kind of, getting in the car accident, threw myself right in to the midst of the theme of this new moon. So, I'm not going to take out any of the extra noises in this video, because I think that they have a lot to do with the divinity of the message that I'm telling you. So I am a, a divinator and an oracle, um, whatever you want to label me. I'm a, I'm a witch. Ooh, it hurts to raise my arm. <laughs> I'm a witch. And um, I am wanting to give you these messages so that I can bring you the messages from the universe that I feel like are flowing through me. And here we are. You hear noises in the background? I might comment on them, I might not. You tell me what you think in the comments below. Okay, so Taurus New Moon Reflections. I love this about Magic of Eye because they offer you kind of an affirmation for the moon itself, right? And you can use it as a meditation, something to, to think about while you're meditating or something to really just focus on. Obviously, it's a reflection for the Taurus New Moon. And it goes like this. I am grateful for all gifts I have received in this life, and to receive is being grateful for life itself. Now, me personally, I feel like just saying that out loud here really allows it to sink into me while I'm reading this rest of this, the rest of this blog to you. With eclipse season revelations still at the forefront, we arrive at the Taurus new moon with a freshness that only comes after cl a cleansing rainstorm. There has been a lot up in the air, sloppily floating about or knocking on our door that we have not been able to completely invite in yet. But the nudges towards available abundance have been making surprising visits. That thing that I thought I wanted, is it really what I want now? I have more grounded information and clearer feelings with opening and closing doors it can be tricky to know which way to go the medicine for shifting tides is to 
slow right down. Stop. Be in stillness and get into the body. Does that make my body relax? Does that bring me joy? <laughs> Core fundamental values that enliven, enrich, bring pleasure to open, expand, bring joy. Makes it all sound so easy and simple to keep coming back to. Action towards our goals that align with the above over doing nothing. <laughs> Security is in the ability to know how to tap into our deep, wise body and feel what stability feels like from within. What a yes feels like what a no feels like just by observing the expansion and contraction in our body it does not have to be any more complicated than that from that place new and true intentions can arise in the shifting and rapidly changing world Taurus teaches us to slow down put our hands on the earth plant seeds and revel in the wonder of life itself have you ever watched a seed grow into a tree? That is pure and utter life affirming magic. Stay a while here. By Carrie from Magic of Eye. Thank you, Carrie. All right. Now, Taurus moon at 18 degrees to, I want to say inches, feet. <laughs> It's a nut. It's decans. <laughs> 18 degrees, two decans. <laughs> I got it. Astrologer Colin Bedell says, Ruled by money-making Venus and the most dependable of the Earth signs, Taurus helps the Zodiac understand our relationship to financial security in powerful ways. In a world where scarcity and excessive co uh, consumerism want us to believe that what we have isn't enough, Taurus fights back. This Taurus new moon, we prioritize gratitude, appreciation, the resource, the appreciating the resources we already have and acknowledging the gift of receiving. The chart of the new moon has the final Mercury Chiron conjunction in Aries of this year, helping us to regulate our appetite for more <laughs> and finding appreciation for the magic in the mundane. This new moon helps us experience a level of peace and pleasure when we show appreciation for the here and now, allowing us to notice the Taurus treasure of time and attention. Um, you can read the whole article and all the moon, sco uh, moon scopes um, on the blog when you go to magicofeye.com and you can find them all in their blog section. And now again, you can read the rest of them in the blog if you'd like to. Currently, I'm simply reading what they have for us for this new moon. And if you feel I've left you out and next time you want me to read all of them, please say so in the comments below and I will most certainly do so. Connecting the next section of the blog, is connecting the terrestrial and celestial realms. You can do this by uncovering the ancient wisdom and healing properties of 36 potent plants and herbs. Prepare with planetary rituals in our new digital guide, Plants Plus Planets, a guide to astral herbalism, which honestly I am so excited about. This guide offers the opportunity to deepen your relationship with the planets and the zodiac signs, experiencing them through their connections with the natural world. Guide features 44 pages of in-depth astro herbalism insight, 36 potent plants, their benefits, practical uses, ruling the planet and zodiac signs, 12 curated rituals to guide your practice and integration digital guide available for immediate download exclusively gifted with the purchase of any a5 botanical journal during taurus season and it ends on may 21st so if you want to get that go get you a botanical journal which honestly the whole reason why i even started knowing about who magic of i was i was jeez how did i find 
think I think I ordered a astrology planner from them and when I got it it was like this vegan leather that I just oh, it just melts in your hands when you touch it and it makes me so happy just to hold it um it's very special to me plus it has gilded edges all of them have gilded edges and the it's embossing the way that they do the um imaging I don't have one next to me or I would totally show it to you right now um Maybe I'll do a whole video on just the magic of eye and why I love them so much. But uh, they recently started getting a lot more into herbs. And they even did a whole, um, a whole collection of journals that was about um, mushrooms. And, uh, I mean, it's got the picture on the front of the journal. I don't think that it has too much information about the mushrooms itself. But this book that they're coming out with or that they have come out with, whew, that's going to be dope. The planner that they have is super detailed. So it has every single, um, every single thing that happens with the planets throughout the year, all throughout the whole planner. And it's, it's like about this big. It's not very big, about the size of my head. <laughs> and, uh, it's easy to take around. They have a pocket sized one too, but now they're getting more into the herb side of things. And so they're blending the herbs and the planets together, which is something that I always dreamed of doing in the first place. And I really love having this beautiful witchy notebook created just for me. I feel like I almost, well, I feel definitely like I manifested it. You be the judge. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and let this go. Um, I hope you guys are enjoying your new moon in Taurus, and I hope that you got all of your witchy musings done tonight. If not, just know the energy of the moon lasts for a couple days. It usually starts the day before and it ends the day after, and then it moves into the next sections of the moon, right? So you have some time. Take a breath. Relax. If you're seeing this video, because i posted it very late <laughs> um, days later don't even worry about it the new moon is about setting intentions and you can set new intentions every four weeks your intentions come to fruition on the new moon right they come into manifestation or sorry on the full moon <laughs> they come into manifestation from the full moon to the new moon and then again you get to do it all over again and we do this all year long there's nothing you're missing out on Obviously, there's going to be different times of the year and different years that have more significance than others to some. But please, don't ever get FOMO about the planets. Don't ever get FOMO about the planets. We are a tiny speck of stardust in this cosmic galaxy. And whatever you want to be true is true. So focus on the things that are best for you. Much love, happiness, and I hope I get another video out soon. Thank you for watching. Oh! Maybe if you want to see some more, subscribe and like, or dislike, comment, do some things. Thanks for reaching the end of this video. Much love.